So you're thinking you want to import an image into Desmos. Well, I got a great idea. Uh, the way you're going to do that is you're going to actually use this add item and you're going to add an image. Uh, and then when you add an image, you'll have to put in a, a file. But what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to find a real life parabola Im image. So if you go to Google, type in real life parabola. And then you're going to go to your images. Uh, and then you have to choose one. So this is not really real life, so that doesn't count. That doesn't count. These are more real life. So what you're going to do is I'm going to choose one down here somewhere someone may not choose. How about something that looks as cool as... Uh oh, where's the cool one I wanted before? Um, we'll just choose... Oh, how about that? That'd be good. No, let's do this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. So if you right-click on it, you need to save your image as... And you can save it as a, a parabola. Just save it to like your desktop or you can save it to your documents. It doesn't matter. Save. Sure, we'll replace that. And then what you can do is now you go over to your other tab, your Desmos tab, and you click on the plus button and you say image. So what I want to do is I'm going to put in a parabola. And notice here is your parabola. Well, you have to find an equation for this actual parabola. So the easiest way to do it is just type in the equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And then you can add your sliders. You want to add all these. Then what you're going to do is you're going to have to uh, change all these to make sure your equation goes around your graph. So your A needs to be negative since it's upside down. And then you can adjust your B and your C a little bit here. So maybe I do the C first and then adjust the B. Uh oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. There we go. And then I'll move my C up a little bit. And that's a pretty good picture of a parabola. So what you're going to need to do then next is this is your equation. Your equation would be y equals negative 0.8x squared plus negative or minus 0.4x plus 3.6c. So in order to print that then, you go up to your share graph, make sure you're logged in, share graph, and then you will want to click on the image. And when you click on the image, now you can actually print your image by clicking on your print. So you can print that to my uh, printer, you can print it somewhere else. But that is your nice, lovely little tutorial, and you make sure you get two of these for your project.